Greetings from the Sunshine State. Before I begin today's pour, I thought I'd do an experiment and uh, double check to make sure that these colors react with each other. And there's an easy way of doing it. I apply the base coats to a ceramic tile. This, this is just a four inch tile. And then I, I put a spot of color on top and then blow blow it across the the base and if it sells up right away I know it's going to react beautifully in the pour. So these are the colors. This is just um, house paint. I had it for a while. It was a mist tint that I picked up at a box store and it's a beautiful baby blue color. And This is a, a mixture of Amsterdam Prussian blue phalo and Deco Arts um, dark denim satin enamels. And it makes a beautiful rich blue. This green, dark green, is Amsterdam sap green. This orange is Amsterdam azo orange. This blue is another house paint. It's Sherwin Williams colored to go. It was a mist tint that I picked up for 50 cents, I believe, at a Sherwin Williams store during the pandemic. And this is another house paint, Felspar 2000 eggshell. It's kind of a beigey color. I mixed everything two parts Floetrol, one part paint. So we'll see how they react on this base. So I'm going to start out with a little bit of this Prussian blue. There's some selling going on. So I'm going to use this color. That's a good sign. I don't know if you can see. Can't see with the glare where I'm holding this. This is the sap green. Oh, those cells are still developing. Yeah, there's some little tiny cells developing on the green as well. It's actually the blue paint coming up through the green. Now the orange. Yeah, there's some cells starting to come up here as well with the orange. If there's no reaction whatsoever, then I save the paints for something else, like a swipe or whatever they want to. This is the um, Sherwin William Williams house paint. Oh, a lot of cells. So house paint over house paint. You can see the cells, hopefully. Now the Valspar 2000 house paint over house paint. Yeah, nothing happening with that. So I'm going to leave out this beige house paint. I don't see any reaction whatsoever, but there's, there's a lot of reaction with the Sherwin Williams house paint. And that first one that I did is still developing cells with the um, phalo, Prussian blue phalo, it's called. So I'll eliminate this, use it for something else. So I'm going to start with the uh, base color at the bottom of the cup that'll come out first. Mm -hmm. 
enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. Leave it like that and hope that it doesn't crack. So I love how this turned out. I love the multicolored cells, huge cells and folders. I didn't use any purple, but it has a movie purplish look to it. Here's the um, light blue base is popping up here and there with little cells, but that's okay. I figured it would do that. The orange, that's the only place that the orange popped up. I didn't use a lot of the orange though. about it. I love the way it sweeps. So there was just too much paint left on the surface so I did some more tilting and then decided to get the balloons out. So now I have these nice puffy mums. section below. And that's it for today. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.